Coronavirus restrictions continue to cause controversy, with Manchester the latest subject of a travel ban from Scotland. Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon announced on Friday all non-essential travel to Manchester and Salford would be banned from Monday. The announcement triggered outrage from Greater Manchester Mayor Andy Burnham, who said neither he or his administration were not contacted before the announcement. Speaking on The Andrew Marr Show on Sunday, Mr Burnham said, I was really disappointed on Friday that the First Minister of Scotland just announced out of the blue, as far as we were concerned, a travel ban saying that people couldn't travel from Scotland to Manchester and Salford and people couldn't go the other way. That is exactly what the SNP always accuse the Westminster government of doing, riding roughshod over people. The SNP are treating the north of England with the same contempt in bringing that in without any consultation with us. So why has Nicola Sturgeon banned travel to Manchester? Speaking on Friday, Ms Sturgeon highlighted several areas across England, including Manchester, as Covid hotspots and said non-essential travel to those areas was banned from Monday June 21. This comes despite figures in those cities matching case rates in parts of Scotland. During the coronavirus briefing, the First Minister said, anyone travelling elsewhere in the Greater Manchester or Lancashire area, it asked to think carefully about whether your journey is really necessary because we do see cases rising across that region. This means anyone planning holidays to Scotland from those areas will need to rethink plans. In Greater Manchester, the infection rate is now 272.2 cases per 100,000 of the population. The infection rate in the area is higher than the national average, which is 89.6 cases per 100,000 people. The Scottish Government attributed the ban and rise in cases to the increase in the Delta variant, which was first discovered in India. However, areas in Scotland are on the rise too. Scotland recorded 1,205 cases of coronavirus in the past 24 hours, with no registered deaths. The positivity rate also remained high compared with recent months, rising to 5.8% of all tests, compared to 4.5% the day before. Dundee City has the highest rate in the country, at 316.8 as of June 17. This is followed by South Ayrshire at 232.7 while City of Edinburgh is third with 210.3. In response to the travel ban, Mr Burnham said he would be looking for his constituents who plan to travel north of the border to be financially compensated by the Scottish Government. He said, he'll be writing to the First Minister today. Appearing on BBC Scotland's The Sunday Show, Scottish Government Trade Minister Ivan McKee said a decision on COVID-19 had to be made quickly. He said, the virus, as we know, moves very fast, decisions are made very fast and those decisions are communicated at a four nations level. Andy Burnham, is going to write to the First Minister about it, that's absolutely fine and I'm sure there will be a conversation about how we can keep him better informed in future. But Tory leader Douglas Ross, speaking on the same show, said, We know that law was made on Thursday morning to introduce these restrictions into Greater Manchester and a ban on travel, yet it WASNT announced until over 24 hours later. If Ivan McKee says there's not good enough dialogue between the UK government and the Scottish government, there was 24 hours that passed before anyone in Greater Manchester knew of a decision taken by the Scottish government a day earlier.